Happy Sunday, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Mr. Redbone. If you didn't know, now you know, y'all. It's day seven of HCG. Um, we're about to get on this scale and see if we had any weight loss or anything. Um, y'all know the weekends are hard, really hard. So let's see. I didn't do anything bad yesterday. I ate pretty well. I had a... a grilled chicken salad that I made um, with just some chicken, lettuce, cucumbers, tomatoes, and onion. And then I had uh, an apple. What did I have for breakfast? I had a cup of coffee yesterday. Water, fucking water, fucking water. <laughs> y'all. Okay, let's get on this scale. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm procrastinating, y'all. Let's do it. Okay, let's try it on the wood floors and see. <laughs> I want all my weight loss. Oh, yes. I am finally under 190. So I lost another pound and something, you guys. And I'm going to have nerve to have on some hamburger socks. Knowing I can't have a fucking hamburger. Well, I'm okay. I'm sorry. You like it. If you, whatever. Let me get on. 189.6. I'll take her. I like that number better. We're going to start weighing in on the wood floors now uh, in here. Ooh. Yes, I appreciate that, y'all. Good morning, true family. You guys, it's day eight. HCG injections. We are going to call it a star. 189.4. Same as yesterday. Okay. You guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do a detox tea today. Um, I did one on Friday. I didn't drink all the tea, so I'm going to go ahead and do it today and do it right. Drink all my tea. I'm going to take my measurements again today. Um, but overall, I'm very satisfied. Uh, eight days in, 7.4 pounds down. I'm going to make a tea for both my husband and I. Um, and we'll talk more in a moment. Go eat. Go eat your food. Go on, baby. Go eat. Before she eat all your stuff. Y'all, the girl, Lauren is greedy. Look at them. They got baths yesterday. Quit trying to get up on me. I got to take them to get their nails clipped, y'all. I take them every month to get groomed and get their nails clipped, but I gave them a bath yesterday. I love you, too. I love you, too. I do. I do. I'm going to play with y'all today, but I got to go to work right now. I know. I know. You're so handsome. He's such a handsome boy. Big old handsome boy. Okay, I gotta go upstairs and work, y'all. Come with me, okay? Get down. <laughs> hey, true family. Hey, everybody. It's Miss True Redbone. If you didn't know, well, now you know. Hey, what it is and what's up? Yeah, mm -hmm. we are on day eight of the HCG diet protocol. Um, and I had quite a few people asking questions as, as to exactly what the HCG diet is. Um, so I'm going to try to get into it without getting into it because it could take forever to do a video on it. There is plenty of information out on the world wide web, get in where you fit in. Um, you, you guys, this is day eight HCG. I am 7.4 pound. Is it 7.4? Let me check my... Ew. Seven... I need all my credit. 7.4 pounds down in eight days. Still going. Um, I can definitely see the difference in my stomach. Um, I can see, I can tell the difference in, in my body pain as far as my fibromyalgia and my arthritis because I'm eating better. Um, therefore, my body is reacting better to 
the plan to what I'm doing. Um, for those out there who have chronic pain disorders, a lot of our problems, a lot of our pain is triggered by what we consume, what we're eating, what we're putting into our bodies. So when I do this regimen, because I've done it, last time I did it was in 2019 and I lost 30 pounds. Um, it's a cycle of, there are three phases. The first phase is what they call loading days. That's where you're consuming as much fat and calories as you can so that while you're on the 21 day injections you have stored fat in your body um so hcg is a, a natural occurring hormone made by the placenta so it is a pregnancy hormone yeah 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 y'all don't don't worry don't shit your pants you're not going to get pregnant it's not going to trigger your hormones to produce no it doesn't work that way. You're only consuming 500 calories a day. Um, there is a approved food list. Now, the approved the, the doctor who came up with this was Dr. Simeon, and this was in 1950. So since then, there have been changes made to the plan. Um, the first time I did it, uh, we were advised to stick strictly to his original plan. Um, which is 100 grams of protein for lunch, 100 grams of protein for uh, dinner. And I'll go over more of that for you guys. Now, this is a regimen, a protocol that has to be, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Monitored um, or under a doctor's supervision, okay? Because you are restricting your calories to 500 calories a day do you do you understand when i first heard of this years ago i was like i would never fucking ever do it i will never ever do it because 500 calories a day i eat more than that in one meal more than 500 calories in one meal let alone have to survive the whole day with it but it's really not hard to do once you get in where you fit in you know what i'm saying so 100 grams of protein so that could be um i'm not gonna go into it yet i'll give y'all a few food regimen later but it's really simple and the way that i survive and make it through um is i load up on those green vegetables you can max out on green vegetables and that's how i get full and sometimes i can't even complete my um 500 my um 100 grams of protein in a day it's getting easier as the days go on to do it. I get up every morning, get on that scale. You have to get on the scale every day. You have to keep, you know, keep a journal of what you weigh, what, what you got going on, what that scale is seeing every day. Um, you can lose anywhere from 0.6 pounds to 2 pounds a day, depending if you're sticking strictly to the regimen. You're not able to use any body oils. Um, technically, they don't want you to use any fats in your cooking. I start. I use coconut oil, and I use very little, y'all. And I use um, olive ham spray. That's what we were allowed to use in the past. But this new list that they have out, you get to eat so many different kinds of foods now. Now, they also limit the type of... Um, fruit that you can have because fruit can fruit has natural sugars that no even though fruit's supposed to be a good thing it has those natural sugars that still is going to pile up fat on your body in those places that you don't want okay now don't try to restrict your body to a 500 calorie diet without actually being on the hcg protocol you're not going to have the same outcome and you're just going to starve your body point blank period so if you are a person that's trying to drop some weight, you want to drop some weight fast, um, then I would definitely say go ahead. So, um, yeah. So if you are looking to drop pounds, you want to lose some weight, go ahead and reach out to your physician, your doctor. If you have a weight management doctor, go ahead and reach out to them. That's um, I have a weight management doctor here in um, Dallas. Check her out if you're in Dallas area. Her name is Dr. Garza. Great doctor. Great doctor, y'all. Um, so back to the HCG protocol and explaining exactly what it what it does. The HCG protocol is um, it, it's a daily injection. I, I know back in the day they had drops, but the the injection has worked for me. Um, so I give myself an injection every morning, um, and it's severe calorie restricting around 500 calories a day. Now the new protocols that I've seen says 500 to 800, which is still a reasonable range okay so the potential benefits of hcg is that it, it mobilizes the fat so meaning that it pulls from the fat 
the unhealthy fat. It's going to trigger, it's going to pull from the fat in those areas that you don't want. Um, like your belly fat, your thighs, that extra under the arm. And remember under this restricted calories of 500, you cannot overexert yourself. You can only probably do a brisk walk. Um, but because you're not consuming enough food, they don't want to see your ass passed out in the middle of the street because you decided to work out extra hard on, <laughs> on this plan, okay? In phase three is when you start picking up more of your regular habits and exercising and things of that nature. Now, um, the HCG injections also protect your muscles um, while on the low calorie diet. So on, on a regular diet, you guys, when you're exercising and you're working out, because you don't have that HCG injection in your body, it's not telling your body not to pull from your good fat, meaning your muscles. Um, it's going to pull from anywhere, everywhere. Have you ever noticed that when you diet, you never lose weight where you want to lose weight? On a regular diet? Because it's pulling fat from everywhere, wherever you have it, good or bad. With the HCG injections, um, it, 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 has some, it does something to trigger only um, bad fat. With the HCG injection, um, the first one that I had in 2019, it, it included a B12 injection. Um, I would say make sure that you're taking your daily vitamins and you're, you know, you're doing what you're supposed to do with that because you are restricting your body to only 500 calories a day. The HCG injection does have something in it that also suppresses your appetite. Along with suppressing, along with that injection, um, my doctor has prescribed uh, fentramine uh, or Adipex, whichever one you use, uh, to also help to suppress the appetite. So that helps me out tremendously. And it also gives me energy. Um, and, and, and with the HC injection, with all that going on, it does uh, help to save energy while you're eating fewer calories. So, okay, so I'm restricting myself to this 500 calorie uh, regimen. What exactly can I eat while I'm on the HCG um, protocol phase two? Every protocol, most foods are removed, especially fatty foods um, and starchy foods. So those carbs, you know, anything that has a, a lot of fat in it, they prefer that you stick to lean meats, 93% lean meat. Um, and, and if you see visible fat on something that you're about to prepare for yourself, you need to make sure that you cut it off. Um, and you want to weigh your foods raw. Foods, um, because you will overeat if you're weighing it while it's, while it's cooked. Look. So you're consuming 200 grams of protein a day. Um, you're consuming two veggies, so meaning your 100 gram of protein for lunch, for dinner, and then you'll have your veggies for lunch and dinner, and then you get to consume two fruit um, also for lunch and dinner. And it's only the recommended fruit that is for the for the actual protocol, because again, a lot of fruit has a lot of natural sugars in it, so you have to be careful which fruits you're actually consuming. Now, if you're having some sort of craving for something, they do have, they said you can eat um, grissini sticks, like those Italian grissini sticks, but I wouldn't eat them because they are, they are baking, they are cooking those with oils in them. So you have to be careful. Um, it's another, what is it called? Melba toast. Um, Melba toast, you can also have if you just need something like carb, crunchy, you know, what I've been doing, which is probably not allowed also is eating 100 calorie popcorn, but I got to have something to keep from messing up, to keep from effing up. So I have my 100 gram, my 100 calorie bag of popcorn, you know, the small bag, and that usually ties me over. I'm also using half a pack of Crystal Light in a bottle of water, sometimes less than that, because I need some taste to keep from going wrong. But besides that, I stick to the regimen totally. And it's not easy at all. My cup of coffee. They want you to use stevia or, you know, they want you to use stevia, you know, the sugar supplement. I use Truvia, um, which is a sugar supplement because I still got to have my coffee. Coffee. I need my chronic in my life or else I'm just not a good person. I'm not a nice person. I don't need to be around people if I don't have that cup of coffee. And then water. Um, they say you can have lemon water. Um, <laughs> I'm not a fan of lemon water. Not without no sugar. I want lemonade. Fuck lemon water. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying. So um, you can have that. I, I even um, they were you could do a boiled egg, you know, the protein. But then I stay away from that, too. I, I go really strict. They want you to stay um, during the protocol. The they encourage you to avoid applying oil based makeup and moisturizers. Um, so because it's oil, your body still is going to receive that and turn it into fat, 
We uh, have you ever thought about this shit on a regular basis? Not I. <laughs> C protocol phase two, HCG protocol phase two. Um, duration is about 21 days. And I think I said that before. Um, phase one is loading. Phase three, um, I'll go into detail when I get into phase three. One day at a time. But phase three is where you're starting to introduce more regular th items into your diet. It's not as calorie restricted. You're able to exercise, blah, 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 you know. Um, but a lot of people, you know, question, okay, so it's, it's a hormone produced in the placenta, placenta, um, of pregnant women or whatever. And how do they get it? They actually extract the hormone from pregnant women's urine. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. True. It, it, but, but I don't give a damn. It's working. I'm going to stick to it. Okay. Um, you may be asking yourself, what actually can I eat on the HCG diet? So the protein list, um, I wrote it down. So lean beef, all visible fat must be trimmed. Remember I said that. Chicken breast, breast only, no skin. You can do shrimp, you can do whitefish, meaning um, uh, you can do no oily fishes. So oily fishes would be tuna or salmon. You can do catfish, you can do whiting, you can do those fishes that fall under um, the white category, if that makes sense. I want you to stay away from foods with additives. That's the whole point in this diet is you are eating clean, eating fresh. Um, so make sure um, that you're, again, additives. You don't want to have any any pre, pre-made pre foods. Um, you need to prepare it yourself so you know what you're putting on it, in it, you know. Um, you can... You can use like broth. I use a lot of chicken broth to flavor my meals, my foods. Um, and I've gotten creative and went on, on YouTube and find, found uh, different recipes for HCG. If you guys were on the live last week, I did my uh, taco soup uh, HCG meal. Um, Mrs. H, she is a true family member. She also hit me to Pinterest has HCG cookbooks. I'm in like Flynn. I will be using it. You can have tomatoes. You can have cucumbers, asparagus, onions, radishes, lettuce, spinach, celery, beet, greens, um, chard, cabbage, and fennel. I do a lot of cabbage. I do a lot of spinach. I do a lot of um, cucumbers. I, I stick to the green green veggies more, and I, I can tell that I have a better outcome with that. Um, make sure that you're weighing your meat 100 grams only raw weigh it up you can get a scale off of amazon for 10 bucks or go to your local grocery store or walmart um no oils but i'm using my spray i'm sorry i gotta have a little something something in my life steamed seared i do a lot of steamed stuff you can do a lot of soups you know um and i really get full easily now y'all i can tell the difference in my body how it's changing um so it's really simple. Those are the vegetables. Those are the proteins that you can have. It's very, it's it's a limited list of things that you can have, but it makes it that much easier because you don't have to question, you know, what can I eat? I find for myself that it's easier and best that I prep my meal so that when I'm in hunger mode that I don't run and grab something that I can't have. Now, the uh, fruit choices that you can have on the plan. Now, this is the original fruit plan. Um, this is the original meal plan that was set up by Dr. Simeon. And it's one small medium apple you can have, um, one medium size orange, or not all together, either or, a half of a grapefruit, um, or you could do a handful of strawberries. I've learned with the apple, like if I want something sweet, I'll go ahead. Um, you can put cinnamon on it, put it in some foil and throw it in the oven. And it comes out just like a crustless um, apple pie. You got to learn the tricks of the trade to make it. I'm just saying. And I'm throwing you out some good tips right here. Now, um, pro so one thing, it's really technical, y'all. Um, like for, say you, say you have a steak, 100 grams of steak for lunch. You cannot have 100 grams of steak for dinner. You have to eat two different proteins in the day. Why? I can't tell you, but that's how technical Dr. Simeon was with his uh, plan. Same with fruit. You can't eat two of the same fruit in a day. You have to switch up between the two. And basically, it's just trying to make sure that you're getting all those food groups in in a, in a day. Um, so I hope that that helped clear up you have any more questions you can ask me um leave them down in the comments if i know it i'll answer it otherwise you can always go on um google you can always go on youtube there are the only thing about youtube you guys is i hate is that the videos that are out now are old as fuck 
they're old, eight years, seven years old, you know, nothing current. So let's blow my videos up. Let's get some, some new content out for HCG. Um, so day eight, I am 7.4 pounds down. Um, yesterday, I'm going to include both because I didn't put up my clip from yesterday. So I'll put up yesterday's clip and today's clip. I stayed the same. Now, they have what they call stall out days. So if you stall for more than, I think it's three to six days, meaning that you stay the same weight, they want you to do the apple day, meaning that for the whole day, you eat nothing but apples. Apples and water. So you'll have an apple um, for, your for your lunch, an apple for your dinner, an apple for your snack, and an apple for any other snack. That's what you would eat the whole day. It's just apple. And you should see a significant difference the next day. Now, when I have a stall, what I also do is I um, throw in my detox tea. Um, this morning I got on the scale, I was at the same, because you can become constipated on this diet. You're restricting your body to 500 calories a day. Yeah, it's going to lash out somehow. So I take my detox tea. I did this morning. So your girl is going to be somewhere locked in the bathroom for a long time. But um, it helps me. It, it, it gets me, it, it changes that weight significantly the next day. Um, at least it did last week. I dropped two pounds the day after I took my detox tea. Um, and it, it helps with that constipation too. So that's what I do for me. That's just true. So I hope that this video did help um, explain the HCG protocol a little bit more. Like I said, it is three phases. I'm on phase two, day eight of it. There's 21 days. Um, and I chose to do this because it's like a jump start for my body. Um, I know that it works as long as I'm willing to do the work and it's not easy. Oh my God, it's not easy, but it's worth it because you see immediate, uh, immediate difference in your body. Um, Again, I hope you guys, um, I hope this video was helpful to somebody. If you're thinking about do it, reach out to your physician um, and go from there. They ate, y'all, 7.6 pounds down or 7.4 pounds down. I'll insert the two clips from Sunday and this morning, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Love, peace, and hair grease. If you haven't subscribed, what is the problem?